Hi, I'm Steve Dale with the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine at the ACVIM Forum in Montreal. In French and English, it doesn't matter. Miracle pet stories are miracle stories. And Veronique Desjardins has a miracle story. Uh, also with us is Dr. Lisa Carioto, an internal medicine specialist. Rottweiler, Dixie, beautiful, beautiful dog, but and things were going fine, yeah. and then something happened. Oui, Dixie a été opérée à, à son genou gauche, puis suite à ça, elle a eu des complications. Euh, elle a fait une dilatation de l'estomac, puis je me suis retrouvée euh, à rencontrer le docteur Lisa Carioto, qui a diagnostiqué euh, des structures à son œsophage, donc elle ne pouvait plus manger du tout. Euh, donc on l'a nourri par le côté durant quatre mois. Euh, pendant ce temps-là, on a dilaté son œsophage de manière à ce que la nourriture puisse y passer. Euh, suite à ça, les, les résultats n'étaient pas bons. Son œsophage revenait toujours à la même grosseur, donc on a décidé de poser des prothèses. On a essayé un premier type de prothèse, ça a fonctionné. Puis quand ils se sont dégradés, euh, il y a une des deux structures qui est revenue. Donc on a posé une deuxième prothèse qui est permanente maintenant. So Dixie came in um, after a few weeks of having surgery and she was having difficulty swallowing and she had bloated her belly. Um, she had, uh, we diagnosed what we call an esophageal stricture where the esophagus uh, closes up and that was a complication after the anesthesia after the surgery. Um, and that's the surgery for the twisted uh, No, sorry, for the knee when she had had a knee surgery a few weeks previously oh, I see. prior to Presenting so for she the had, bloat. So she had knee surgery, and then what happened? The, during the procedure for the knee surgery, she refluxed or regurgitated fluid from Which her stomach. damaged the esophagus. Exactly, it's but very no irritating. But no one knew it at that, that, at that time. Correct. Then she had the bloat, and give me the 10 second explanation of what that is. So because um, she wasn't able to swallow uh, any food or water, she was panting excessively, she was very uncomfortable and all she could get through was air, and nothing could come out because the hole for the esophagus was so small, and her stomach basically became very, very distended and dilated with gas, with, with air. Which can be life-threatening. Yes, for So sure. you did the surgery to save her life for that, exactly. but then along the way, at some point... We determined she had, the, the, the whole reason problem. was because of the esophagus. Yes. And, and you began to solve that problem by doing what? Um, we placed a catheter into her esophagus and dilated to open up the esophagus. Um, it would work intermittently, but very short period of time. So we had to place uh, what we call esophageal stents um, to keep the esophagus open. And she ended up having two strictures, and the stent closest to the stomach healed very nicely, everything kept open, but the one a little bit higher up um, unfortunately would healed on itself again. So we ended up needing to put a permanent stent uh, with metal um, and a protective coating to keep the esophagus open. And, and you were thinking as all this goes on, I mean this is complicated, uh, it's also expensive I, I presume at some point because this is going on and on over the course of months yes. I, I assume. Uh, did you think I, I can't believe, I mean, in a person with a similar sort of issue, I would imagine that we're talking an iffy situation here. So with, with an, were you amazed at what the veterinarians could do? Yeah, but they were a team very well organized, I was very well received. The dog has always been enjoyed, in good humor. Elle n'a jamais démontré des signes d'inconfort parce que grâce à leur talent, ils ont réussi à la garder confortable tout le long. Ça a duré un an. Euh, puis même à la maison, quand j'avais besoin d'aide, je pouvais les appeler, soit tard le soir, de bonne heure le matin. Ils m'ont toujours répondu. Euh, donc c'est ça qui, qui a fait que j'ai continué. Puis les sous, c'est petit peu à petit peu qu'on se rend compte que ça coûte cher. Mais euh, ils, ont, ils ont essayé de me trouver aussi des fonds là, pour m'aider là-dedans. Là. La, la faculté de médecine vétérinaire euh, m'a aidé. So basically, um, she, uh, well, Dr. Madame Desjardins said that she's very well received and um, because Dixie was always very enthusiastic, very playful um, during the whole ordeal, that's what kept her going. Ah. Um, and, and to continue, you know, persisting ahead. Um, and in terms of cost, it was little by little, 
and then obviously it adds up. Uh, through the University of Montreal, we were able to donate um, certain amounts of money, time, that type of thing. That's wonderful, yes. So that also certainly helped. And ultimately saved your, all of this combined, your commitment, uh, Dixie's will to live, I suspect, mm -hmm. all saved Dixie's life. Yeah, it did save Dixie's that is life, and we, we did what we could at home. Um, maintenant, elle a une vie normale, elle peut courir, elle mange, ça prend un peu plus de soins, elle prend des médicaments, euh, mais maintenant elle peut manger seulement deux fois par jour comme un chien normal. Avant c'était huit fois par jour. Um, je veux dire, elle court avec les chevaux tous les jours, elle dort toute la journée. So um, she still receives a few medications, um, but she's back to her normal self. She's playful. She plays with the horses and um, eats twice a day. She's able to eat kibble again, with softened a little bit, but uh, she can eat twice a day instead of eight times a day, um, like Mademoiselle Desjardins was doing. Um, but she's back to her normal self. And I've never seen a Rottweiler with blue eyes. <laughs> yeah. It wonder, those are not contact lenses, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much, it was a uh, pleasure. Uh, Veronica uh, Dijardin. Thank you, and thank you, Doctor. Steve Dale for the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine, ACVIM.org.